Several weeks ago, I heard a sermon by James Taylor, who said, faith, F-A-I-T-H, is forsaking all in trusting him. I said, oh, I need to remember this. Then my faith was tested. During the shelter in place, my father's in-home service worker quit. So on April 1st, he moved in with my brother and sister-in-law. On April 7th, my sister-in-law called me crying over the phone. She said, come and take dad home. I cannot take care of him anymore. I have a medical emergency. I need to go to the ER. I said, okay, I'll be right over. Then I text my prayer partner asking them to pray for her. When I get to my brother's house, my sister-in-law was hardly able to walk. She vomited, she felt weak on her left side, and we were worried that she might have a stroke. She didn't want to go to ER in fear of the coronavirus infection. She took out on the phone to consult with her doctor, and I know I cannot take care of my dad. So I frantically called my siblings, my friends, seeking someone to take care of my father. When I cannot find anyone, I was so stressed out. I said, I'll, I'll call the employment referral agency. Then Tony said, calm down, give it all to God. I said, oh, thank God for that reminder. I'm reminded forsaking all in trusting him. I need to let God be God. I need to remember Christian living it's not about reciting Bible verses, remembering quote. It is about living out our faith in Christ. I need to let God be God. I remember in Hebrews 12, 1, it said, Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. I need to let go of my fear, my frustration, my anger, my pride, my need to be in control, my need to be the problem solver. I need to trust God. He is the one in control. He will provide for my dad. He will take care of my sister-in-law. He is the problem solver, not I. I need God to purify my faith. In this COVID-19 pandemic, what do you need to let go, forsake, in order to follow Jesus? What do you need to let go? Is it your fear of being infected? Is it uh, worry about your schooling? Um, online, uh, what sin entangles you from following Jesus? What hinders you from your walk in Christ? What distraction, what distracts you from fixing your eyes on Jesus? Let go and let God purify your faith in trusting Jesus.